Good morning, Grade Sevens. In NS today, we're going to investigate design issues. Investigating design issues. We have already looked at stiffening and strengthening techniques. These are just some of the design issues which have to be considered when constructing a structure. Other design issues include structural elements such as reinforcing techniques, stability, center of gravity, base size and visual pollution. We will first look at the structural elements. Structural elements are the bits that the structure is made up of. The structural elements of your body include bone, flesh, organs, blood vessels and skin. The structural elements of a manufactured structure include beams, struts, ties, membranes and shells. Beams a beam is a structural element that is capable of withstanding loads primarily by resisting bending. The most common beams are the I-beam, the angle beam, the T-beam, the rod and the hollow beam or pipe. Different shapes are suitable for different jobs. Struts Struts are structural elements which resist compressive forces. Compressive forces are forces which push down on a structure. Struts may be used to support structural elements and also to keep parts of a structural apart. Struts, struts ensure the aeroplane wings do not compress together. Ties. In many ways, ties are the opposite of struts. Struts resist pushing forces, while ties resist tensile forces, which are pulling, pulling forces. Membranes and shells. A membrane is something which covers a frame. It is like a skin. Structural membranes include concrete, glass and steel. In shell structures, the shell is a structural element of its own. Shells are a special kind of membrane. On the little picture, you can see workers making a concrete membrane on a floor. Reinforcing techniques, stability and center of gravity. Reinforcing techniques, like stiffening techniques, make a structure stronger. Beams and struts are also used to strengthen structures. Anything which strengthens a structure is a reinforcing technique. Stability refers to how well the structure stands. The center of gravity of an object is the average location of the weight of the object. If the center of gravity of an object is not in the center of the object, it will fall over. With the egg on the left, the center of gravity is in the center. Why are the other two eggs falling over? Base size and visual pollution. If something has a large base, it is much harder to push it over than if it has a small base. This is because more force is required to lift a large area of the ground than a smaller area. Visual pollution is anything which ruins what something looks like, or it is so unattractive that it causes discomfort. This building site is an example of visual pollution. A few questions on revision. 1. Name the three ways to stiffen structural materials. Answer. Tubing, folding and triangulation. 2. What are structural elements? The answer is the bits that the structure is made up of. Number 3. 
What do we call the structural elements which resist compressive forces? The answer, struts. Number four, explain what stability is. The answer, it refers to how well the structure stands. Number five, what is visual pollution? The answer, anything which ruins what something looks like or it is so unattractive that is causes discomfort. Well done. You are done with the chapter of investigating design issues. Remember, if you have any questions, you can phone the school cell phone number and I will come back to you. I miss you and I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.